Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. We gotta talk about Black China. She is being accused of possibly trafficking females. Okay? This girl came out, her name is Ava Louise, and she is she's accusing Black China of basically keeping her hostage in her home and potentially trying to traffic her. So this situation is just really, really disturbing. I'm going to show you guys some of these clips before I show you guys the video. Give me just a second here. Okay, so this is her, Ava Louise. Uh, this is Black China and her DMs. With the dates here. So they done pulled the video from TikTok, which you know us, honey. We keep receipts. And here goes the video on my page. <laughs> China held me hostage, and I'm pretty sure she was trying to sex traffic me. This is the only time in my life I've ever felt real fear, and it is the scariest thing that has ever happened to me. I finally feel safe enough to share the story because this happened back on August 10th and it's been a little bit of time. I don't have time to go into the details, but China and I met on Instagram. As you can see, we were DMing. I ended up sending her my number. She FaceTimed me at 3 a.m. LA time. My best friend, Alex Marker, was on the FaceTime call as well. As you can see, Black China follows my best friend, Alex Marker, on Instagram. So while China was FaceTiming with me and Alex, she invited me over to her house at 4 a.m. In hindsight, going to Black China's house at 4 a.m. was probably stupid, but I'm me. I love a good adventure. And come on, who's going to turn down going to Black China's house and meeting Dream Kardashian? Long story short, I get there. I have to sign an NDA, but this NDA was unlike any other NDA I've ever signed in my life. I had to put down all kinds of identifying features about myself on this NDA, like my eye color, my hair color, my height, what I was wearing. I was like, okay, this is really strange. Right after I signed the NDA is when China very intimidatingly said, all the stories you read about me kidnapping people are true. Now, I've never seen any stories about China kidnapping people. I read them after this happened to me. I got a gut feeling I was in danger, but there was nothing I could do because I was in a gated home. I couldn't unlock the gate and get out. This is the only photo I have from inside China's house. It was in her guest house, like a sign. My phone was on 3% and she wouldn't let me charge it. So there was really nothing I could do. I was really screwed. For six hours, China held me hostage. She drank an entire bottle of Casamigos in front of me. She like wouldn't let me be alone. Every time she had to use the bathroom, she would make me go into the bathroom with her. She took shits in front of me. She forced me to take a wet towel and wipe off all of my makeup. She was doing weird things all night, like comparing her hand sizes and trying on my shoes. She kept telling me that I had to stay until 10 a.m. because that's when Dream was going to be out of the home. And she was going to go crazy on me at 10 a.m. Black China held me hostage and I'm pretty sure she was trying to sex traffic me. This is the only time in my life I've ever felt real fear, and it is the scariest thing that has ever happened to me. I finally feel safe enough to share the story because this happened back on August 10th, and it's been a little bit of time. I don't have time to go into the details, but China and I met on Instagram. As you can see, we were DMing. I ended up... Girl, oh God, let me come back on the screen. That voice. And then we went and we were in the DMs and then Black China took a shit in front of me and then she took a wet one. Girl, shut up, breathe. First of all, now she did all this talking, all this, you know, talking all fast and shit. You know, just talking about just relevant stuff. And am I the only one who thought when she was like, Black China took a shit in front of her, and then she went and got a wet white, a wet rag? Did I? I thought she was going to say that Black China made her wipe her ass or something. And then I got a wet rag, and then she made me wipe off her makeup. 
Girl, shut up with this stupid ass story. First and foremost, okay? Now, I'm no big black China fam, but your story sounds suspect, ma'am. It sounds like you're looking for attention and you're looking to go viral. Now, while she was talking and running her mouth, I didn't hear her one time say, as soon as I left and I got the safety, I caught the damn police. Did I miss that? Was she talking too fast and my ears missed that? I don't recall her saying anything about she caught the police, went to the police station, got some type of art kit, nothing. I'm going to just run to TikTok and tell my story. You're an idiot. If you feel like this woman was trafficking you, and there's a lot of weird shit that goes on in Hollywood. Don't get me wrong. Okay. There's, I don't, there's all these Hollywood people are weird, but if you really felt like you were being trafficked or you were potentially going to be trafficked, why would you not go to the police? Why would you sit here and say this story for TikTok, knowing that other young girls behind you could actually be trafficked? Make it make sense. So I see a lot of people are dragging China. They're calling her a, you know, a trafficker and all this stuff. I'm not jumping on that bandwagon. I need receipts. And somebody sliding in your DMs and talking to you, I, that doesn't prove that you were trafficked to me, especially being that you didn't call the police. I'm really thankful what probably happened is Black China did slide in her DMs. You know, she's a pretty little white girl. They're just selling cooch and something went wrong. They do that a lot in L.A. Hell, selling coochie in L.A. is like currency. Let's keep it real. I think that's what that is. And she's trying to add more sauce to the story because none of it makes sense. First, your phone was almost about to die. It was at 3%, but you managed to, you know, leave her home around 10 o'clock in the morning and you still had your phone, but she didn't let you charge it. And then who says that you want to go to somebody's house to meet their children? And Black China's child is, she's little. She's like, what, five? I don't want to go to anybody's house and meet their kids like that. If anything, put your kids in the back room and get them out of grown folks' conversation. Who the hell? Like, don't come to my house trying to meet my kids. I don't know. My kids are upstairs in their room living their life. What adult says that? This girl's weird. So I'm not believing her story. I think she's full of shit. I think she's another clout chaser. But, you know, it could have happened. But, again, I need receipts. So before I call somebody a trap, you know, those are strong words. And if you get convicted of trafficking, you're, you're getting time in prison. That's not anything to play with. So for her to come and tell this story, but not have a police report, not have no real receipts is insane. So again, this is why a lot of these celebrities, y'all keep wanting to just slide in people's DMs and y'all don't know whose DMs y'all be sliding into. Some of these people are batshit crazy, mental health issues. Just because somebody's pretty don't mean they're not crazy as cat shit. So y'all might want to watch this slide into folks' DMs and inviting them into your home. I don't know. This, this, this story is just crazy. I'm not buying it. Thank you. Uh, who is that? Milk. He put milk cake, put a bunch of caps. Yeah, it just sounds weird. But people be wanting attention and that's the sad part. And now she's viral for this. She's viral. She's getting her attention. You know, she was trending on Twitter. And then watch her come back in a week, you know, crying, caring to I was threatened. Oh. My story, you know, I didn't mean it like that. She's going to come back in a week and try and change it up. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the Lovely TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.